Welcome! In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to use the remote desktop control feature for on-video meetings. With remote desktop control, you can control another user's desktop in a BlueJeans on-video meeting, allowing you to collaborate remotely with your colleagues and customers. Remote desktop control also allows easy troubleshooting for support teams that are in different locations than their end users. Remote desktop control can only be used if both parties are using the BlueJeans app version 1.25 and above. Remote desktop control is not available if either party joins on a browser or the mobile app. Let's take a look at an example of how to use remote desktop control. In our example, Lizanne Dunnigan is having a planning meeting with John Smith to brainstorm future training courses for Softco Incorporated. John is currently sharing his desktop that shows a Word document with the agenda for today's meeting. Lizanne wants to take control of John's desktop so she can add her comments to the Word document. There are two methods for requesting desktop control. The first method is to click the participants icon in the toolbar. Next, select the participants name in the list. And then click request desktop control. To use the second method, click the mouse icon located at the bottom of your screen. Next, click the Yes Send Request button. In our example, Lizanne sees a green banner with a message indicating that the request for desktop control was sent to John. John receives a pop-up message indicating that Lizanne wants to take control of his desktop. John clicks the Yes Grant Control button. After John approves Lizanne's request for desktop control, Lizanne receives another message indicating that she is now in control of John's desktop. Now that Lizanne has control of John's desktop, she adds three training courses to the Word document that she thinks should be developed in the next six months. Once Lizanne is finished adding her information, she clicks the Stop Desktop Control button. John can also stop the desktop control session by clicking the Stop Desktop Control button that displays at the top of his screen. Now that John is back in control of his desktop, he adds a final action item to the Word document to finish up the meeting. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Now you know how to use remote desktop control to control another user's desktop.